Hello, in this video we're going to use Desmos to set up a quick animation showing how the distance formula is in fact calculating the hypotenuse of a right triangle that connects two points on the graph. Now, it's not always you know, that you have a perfect right triangle, but here you can see we have a vertical line, but the principle is still the same where we're just really drawing a right triangle and using the distance formula is just using the Pythagorean theorem between two points. So we're going to set that up so it looks just like this. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is set up two points, x1, y1, hit enter, get those slider values, and then repeat the process, x2, y2. I'm just typing in the number two there. Now I have two points, and I want to connect them with a line. We use the point slope form. So it's going to be y minus y1 equals slope. And slope in this case at these two points is just going to be x2 minus x, no, every time, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's our slope. And we want to multiply that by x minus x1. There's our line. We talked in the midpoint challenge about restricting the domain here with the min function. We want to go from whichever point has a smaller x value, min of x1, x2, and we want to plot x values all the way up to the max of those two. So max of x1, x2, and you can then close the curly brackets. You can make these inequalities equal to if you want. And now we have the ability to move these points around without losing that line. We also, this, is, this will be the hypotenuse essentially of our right triangle. We want now a vertical line going through this point right here, which we called, I'm looking at the color coding, it, it has to look like the x1, y1 point. So I need a vertical line where x equals x1. There it is. And I need a horizontal line going through y2. There it is. Now this right triangle is fine. I, I just think it's nice to have it so it cuts off and doesn't just go on forever. And we're going to use essentially the same structure here for our restrictions for the um, this line, the horizontal line down there. We want to essentially go from whichever is smaller, x1 or x2. So that's perfectly set up for us. And then for the x value here, we want to restrict the range. And we want to go from whichever is smaller, not x1 or x2, but y1 or y2, up to the max. So whatever is bigger, y1 or y2. Then I mean I would change those lines by clicking on them here. Okay, done. Now we've got this right triangle that we can draw. We can we can show by dragging the points around. Now what we're trying to do is calculate this distance right here. And if I just label these points, we can like that. So the distance formula essentially finds the value of this leg right here by subtracting the heights of the two points, the value of this leg right here by subtracting the x values of these two points, and then squaring them and adding them up. It's the Pythagorean theorem. It's a leg squared plus a leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So let's make sure we have that calculated. I'm gonna hit enter to make a new space. So let's say you wanna find the length of this hypotenuse right here. Right now, I don't really like these decimals. It doesn't look so pretty, so let's fix that. Let's go over here and say that the step values, we're only going to look at whole number values here, or integer values. So I'm going to click on all of these, and you'll see why in a moment. Because, um, first of all, I want you to get experience messing around with the intervals of steps, but now we can make this look a little bit better. So let's say that this hypotenuse length right here we know that uh, one leg squared plus another leg squared equals the hypotenuse square. So let's start by finding that. And I'm just going to type in h and then 1. And this will be our hypotenuse square. Now in Desmos, you can actually make special notes about what you're doing. So the value below is equal to, the, to I'll say, h squared. I can't type in h squared over here. That'll actually try to uh, change what I'm analyzing. So in this case, I want to get this vertical leg first. Let's say that is y2 minus y1. And we're going to square that. 
And then the other leg is going to be x2 minus x1. And we're going to square that. So the hypotenuse in this case is 34. You can see as I move it around, it'll recalculate the hypotenuse. But uh, that's, that, that's the hypotenuse square, excuse me, right? That's the, the sum of each leg square. We want to find the hypotenuse. So now we can say the value below is equal to h, the hypotenuse. So I'm just typing h equals the square root of h1. Right, so you can see it calculating that right there. Now I don't really want that that decimal showing. I wanted to show the square root of the side length. So what I'm now going to do is get the midpoint of this line. It's a nice place to put our label, and the midpoint formula. I'm just going to do x one plus x two over two, and then y one plus y two over two. And this is our midpoint right here. But the label of this midpoint, I wanted to show essentially the square root. So I'm going to do it this way, click label. And then what I'm going to do is go like this, copy and paste with the back, the back quotation mark. And it's still looking a little bit uh, not friendly. It's in the LaTeX code right there. It looks a little better now. And what I want changing is the radicand, the number we're taking the square root of. So I put a dollar sign and then I'm going to enclose it in brackets and the code looks something like this right there. So now I have a dynamic code and as I move this around you'll see it calculate the distance of that hypotenuse. And that's pretty much it. I would just, I would hide this point and let me just change the location of the label. And I'd probably put it on the outside over here and then I think I'm done. There we go. All right. Hope that helped.